Hey there, Lacey here with the Sweet Pea Chef. Welcome back. I am feeling like a hearty breakfast today, and that means hash browns are a must. I don't know about you, but I can't stand when I have a big breakfast and I have hash browns, and then I feel gross because it's greasy and high in carbs, and you just feel like heavy and blah all day. So I found the perfect solution with cauliflower hash browns because they are lower in carbs and they are full of a bunch of goodness. And it only takes seven ingredients to make, so it's pretty awesome. Let's get started. Before we go any further, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you never miss my new weekly recipe videos that are healthy goodness and all sorts of healthy eating inspiration. And if you do, go say hi in the comments and I will say hi as well. So first things first, we need to turn our cauliflower into cauliflower rice. And my favorite way to do that is using a kitchen grater. So we're gonna need to wash our cauliflower first. So we're going to rinse it in some running water. And then if you need to, go ahead and remove any of the green leaves underneath the cauliflower by just running a knife around the edges. You could also peel it off with your hands if you are uncomfortable using a knife that way. Then we're just going to grate the cauliflower as much as you can against our kitchen grater. Make sure you hold that kitchen grater steady and you watch your knuckles when it gets closer to the edges because it can move on you a little quickly. Instead of a kitchen grater, you could also use a food processor to do this. You would just break off the florets and toss them on in. Or you could even buy pre-frozen cauliflower rice from the store. That is a super trendy thing that people can do now, which is awesome, and it saves you this extra time. But if you do that, make sure you thaw it ahead of time and you squeeze out any extra moisture from it because those tend to get pretty moist when you let them defrost. So whatever way you use to get our cauliflower rice, once you have it, add it to a large mixing bowl, followed by an egg, some finely minced onion, sea salt, black pepper, and garlic powder, and then stir to combine. And yes, you could use a flax egg if you would rather have it remain vegan instead of our regular egg. Now, I am not trying to say that potatoes are the enemy here. In fact, if we made this exact same recipe with some shredded potatoes instead of cauliflower, it would still be a really healthy option. The problem with most hash browns is that they're deep fried and loaded with salt. But also, cauliflower is healthier in general than a potato. For example, it is lower in carbs, lower in calories, higher in fiber, higher in antioxidants, and higher in mineral and vitamins compared to a potato, so it's a pretty awesome ingredient. Now we're gonna heat about a teaspoon of olive oil over medium-high heat on a skillet or a griddle. Then we're gonna grab about a quarter cup of our cauliflower hash brown mixture and we're gonna put it onto the hot oil. Then we're gonna press it down into basically a circle. You're looking for it to be about three inches in diameter and you might need to use your spatula a little bit to kind of push it back together. It's not gonna hold together unless you make it hold together. We're gonna to cook this for about two to three minutes until the edges of the hash brown starts to look a little bit of golden brown, it starts to steam a little bit, and when you give it a gentle nudge, it kind of allows you to move the whole thing rather than just a piece of it. Be patient with this step because if you flip it too soon, it's gonna be scrambled hash brown. So we wanna keep it all together, so we wanna make sure it gets that really nice crust underneath. Then, once you see those signs, flip it on over very carefully and swiftly, and then we're gonna cook this side for another two to three minutes. We want the edges and all of the, that part to get nice and golden brown again, and this is also gonna to help to fully cook that cauliflower and onion in there. So you wanna make sure you wait those two to three minutes. Then repeat with the remaining mixture. This recipe will yield about six three-inch cauliflower hash browns, but you can change up the size and make more or less, or you can double the recipe if you wanted even more. Or if you wanted to cook it all in one giant hash brown in a skillet and then flip it on over, you could do that. Or if you wanted to just mix it all together and cook it in a skillet and not care about it being a circle shape at all, it is all your choice, whatever you prefer. So, what do you serve cauliflower hash browns with? Very good question. I like to have them with some fried eggs or an omelet, or for a tasty brunch, some baked salmon with these babies is really, really good. Or have them by themselves with a little bit of sliced green onions on top. It's, it's, it's tasty no matter what. You can totally store these hash browns in the fridge up to four to five days. Just make sure you're using an airtight container, and then you just heat it on through again, either in the microwave when you want to have it again for about one to two minutes, or you can always reheat it on a skillet and then you have this delicious cauliflower hash browns. 
just ready to eat as a tasty, savory side for breakfast or hey, even dinner, that is good. Thanks so much for watching and make sure to check out my cauliflower recipes playlist for all sorts of tasty cauliflower ideas. And I have a cauliflower tortillas recipe in there, which is another really great low carb alternative using cauliflower, it's super awesome. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I will see you next time, bye-bye.